shootings within minutes plagued the streets of downtown Cincinnati Sunday night as hundreds of thousands of people watched the Riverfest fireworks. It's abnormal and nobody likes it. It's, um, but we use it almost as an anomaly. We don't like it. We, we deal with it, we address it, uh, and we delve into the investigation right away. We even brought people in from home to assist us last night. A 17-year-old male was shot in the shoulder near U.S. Bank Arena at Marion and Broadway. Two others were shot on 9th Street near Race. All three had non-life-threatening injuries. Right. It's a shame, you yeah. know. It's scary. It makes it scary to want to come out and do things, you know, because of the what-ifs. But you still, you can't live your life around that. Tiffany Bowling and John King go to Riverfest every year. They were shocked by the shooting. I mean, you have your police that are here and they patrol, you know, and usually it's safe and we don't have any issues. So I was kind of shocked by uh, what I heard this morning that happened last night. The annual event is geared towards families, a goal that Captain Neville says will still ring true, even with Sunday's violence. They occur every grade so often, um, like the one yesterday, the one down by U.S. Bank. We have reason to believe that they knew each other. This, so this wasn't something that was random or somebody just came and started shooting off. This was something that escalated from previous encounters. Bowling and King say Sunday shooting won't deter them from watching fireworks on the river next year. And it's just not necessary. Yeah. We're here. We're all just trying to have fun. Yeah, and something know? like that to even bring a gun. That's insanity. That. You know, I mean, it's everybody's out here just to watch the fireworks and to have a good time. You know. Now, police have talked to witnesses, and they plan to talk to the victims again today to try to further that investigation. Live in downtown, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.